Hey guys, welcome to Nick's Quick Thought. Hey, I was uh, wanting to talk about transgender bathrooms today because it's very important. Um, I think that it's very easy to take a side, either it doesn't matter, it does matter, um, who's going into the bathrooms and stuff. And I don't think it's that simple, um, but I don't think it's that complicated either. What I mean is, um, We've had for years and years and years transgender people using whatever bathroom that they felt comfortable with and you never heard about it, you never, it was never a thing. Um, and so I think that this is more about um, creepy people and pervy people taking advantage of this type of thing. Um, a guy, you know, just saying that he's a woman and going into the women's restroom or a guy putting on a dress and going into a woman's restroom. It's, it's not transgendered people that we're, we should be worried about, in my opinion. Um, it's creepy and pervy people. And creepy and pervy people are creepy and pervy. And what I mean by that is transgendered people are not creepy and pervy. There might be a creepy and pervy transgendered person though. Um, heterosexual men are not creepy and pervy, but there are creepy and pervy heterosexual men. There are also creepy and pervy women, and there are creepy and pervy lesbians, and there's creepy and pervy homosexuals, and I'm sure there's creepy and pervy just about anything that you can come up with. So um, I, I understand the fear, I have seven kids myself, and so I get it. I'm not just sweeping this under. It's not as black and white as everybody says it is. Um, so, so it's not that simple, but it is simple. So what do I mean by it is simple? Um, basically, my daughters went to the bathroom with me. Um, still to this day, they will go to the bathroom with me if I need them to. Uh, they usually go in pairs. Um, we don't trust anybody. The parents that are involved in my kid's family, um, just just because you're family, we don't trust you. Um, just because you're our best friends, we don't trust you. Um, it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you personally. It's just the knowledge that there are creepy and pervy people. And guess what? It's even scarier than that. It's usually the person that you know. It's usually the person that you're most comfortable with. It's usually the person that you trust the most. The counselor, the church pastor, the nurse at the whatever. Um, your best friend, you let your kids spend the night over there and they get a little hinky pinky with your kid and you never hear about it until 10 years later. Um, it's, it's so it's, it's simple in a sense of watch your kids, protect your children. Um, this is about protecting women and children, you know, um, the idea of a man going into the woman's restroom. Um, a man goes in the woman's restroom and, and, and causes a disturbance, that should be dealt with. You know, I think we're trying to deal with things that we've never even come up against. Um, and so, but however, there needs to be some sort of law figured out and all that. I'm not into law, I'm not a lawyer. Um, that's an interesting discussion. However, in the meantime, parents, just take care of your kids. Uh, it's surprising to me how many people do not watch their kids, do not focus on their kids, and do not pay attention to their kids. Um, it, you have to you know, give them freedom in a sense, but however, you have to be safe. And so that's a very interesting line, and we can talk more about that later. This is supposed to be a quick thought but anyways, transgender uh, bathroom situation, I have 100% I have assurance that it's not about transgender people. Um, we want, we love you transgender people. We want you to feel comfortable going to the bathroom. We as a nation need to figure that out. Um, and so that's a long discussion and, and whatnot. But the safety wise, um, be safe, take care of yourselves. Um, you know, it's, it's basically, as simple as that, yet complicated. So, peace out. Love you guys.